stuff I like to use an eyeshadow primer. Usually I use the Urban Decay one, but the e.l.f. one is only a dollar, so for those who are trying to save money, the e.l.f. one is perfect. So now I'm taking this dark black eyeshadow from the face shop. It's a black eyeshadow with a little bit black glitter in it, so it's a little bit funner than a matte black shadow, but you can feel free to use any dark color you like. So you want to take time to pack the eyeshadow on. Um, and I like to extend my shadow a little bit longer than my eyes because it makes my eyes look longer and bigger. Um, it's different for everyone how long you want to extend the wing, but for me it's about half an inch. So now I'm just blending the eyeshadow a little bit to give it a nicer, smoky effect. You want to check your other eye every now and then to make sure that the eyeshadow goes about the same height as the other one. And now I'm going to bring this eyeshadow to my lower lash line. Make sure to only blend it out halfway because, I don't know, if you do an all-around black eyeshadow thing, I think it'll just end up looking kind of like a panda. And, um... Checking my other eye, I realized I put a little bit too much on the bottom, so I'm just going to take this Q-tip and wipe off the excess and clean up the lines a little bit. Now, taking the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in the color Ice Latte, I'm going to pack that color in the inner corner of my eyes. And I'm going to blend it into the black eyeshadow that I applied earlier. Make sure to blend really well to get that nice gradient effect. And add a little bit to the um, first half of your bottom lash line. Yay! Lastly, you want to take that same color and apply it under your eyebrows or your brow bone to get that nice highlight effect. Now, taking this Bobbi Brown Gel Eyeliner, you want to line your eyes as close to the lash line as possible. And um, for people who don't wear a lot of makeup, you might not be used to um, coloring your waterline. But if you're used to it, I suggest you coloring the waterline also because it hides that little peachy skin color in between the lashes. And um, wing it out just a little bit for that nice um, winged effect. I'm going to be applying the semi-dramatic lashes. Make sure that the glue is about half dry before you apply it onto your eyes. So for people with double eyelids, I suggest putting the lashes as close to your lash line as possible. But for monoliters like me, I like to put it about 1 millimeter above my lash line. For some people, this might even create a crease. For me, I just do this simply because if I put it too close to my lash lines, my upper lid would push on the eyelashes and make it point down. So if you use the white eyelash glue like I did, sometimes it doesn't all dry transparent the way they promised you it would. So I like to take a dark liquid black eyeliner to color in the glue and make sure that there's no white um, stuff showing on my lashes. And you're basically done for this tutorial. This simple eyeshadow look only takes me about 10 minutes and it only uses two colors. So it's very simple to do and I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please like and subscribe above and um, lastly, if you guys have Instagram or Tumblr, please follow me. So Instagram, my username is just MilkyVoodoo and for Tumblr, my link is MilkyVoodoo.tumblr.com Lastly, a big thank you to LensVillage.com for sponsoring me these Super Angel Brown Circle Lenses. I'm going to be having a more thorough review of these contacts and a couple others in my next video, so please look forward to that. Thanks, bye!